Beginning this weekend, police and family members are rolling out a new strategy to help find any signs of a missing Tooele man. Yeah, new special Sandra Adams live for us tonight with the new developments. Sandrew? Well, Rick Morris vanished from his home on June 25th last year. His family still desperate to find him, and now they have some new hope centered around the new approach. Ten months have passed. There's weeks where like, I'll let myself like, think that he's out somewhere. And still the thought of him is never far. And then there's days where I remember going into his room and seeing how it was left and, um, and coming back to reality that he's probably dead. Mariah Morris only wished she knew what happened to her brother Rick that day last June. Rick is a type 1 diabetic, so he needs insulin. And our mom noticed that he was acting strange. And so they gave him a sandwich. He ate it. Um, they went to check on him after to see how his blood sugar was. And he disappeared. Since then, there has been no sign. We've done a lot of searches in the mountains, in the fields, in the neighborhoods, and we haven't found anything. So this weekend, Police have a new idea. Families can be passing out flyers that we created. The flyers have a QR code on them that you scan, and it takes you to an investigative lead sheet that, once submitted, goes directly to the lead detective, Detective Curtis. The hope is Tooele residents will help focus future searches either by passing on new leads or determining their properties have nothing of interest. We're looking for everything up to including the clothing that he was wearing, which we believe is jeans, black tennis shoes. Anything that gives new direction the family will take. We're lost on where to go from here. Morris deeply misses her brother. We don't have his voice, you know, like any videos. Like stupid things that you wouldn't even like think about until someone's gone. She hopes the answers are out there somewhere. He deserves to come home to us. And I just hope that people will help us find him. The police say they alone have spent hundreds of man hours searching for Rick Morris, but they say there is uh, the possibility that there could be somewhere that has not been uh, searched or just overlooked, perhaps. They're asking people to look through things like tall grass on their property, maybe a shed if it hasn't been touched in the last year. They're hoping somewhere the answer is out there. And, of course, anybody with information is asked to call 12 Police Department.